Here we have a short video which shows the needle valve locking device being fitted onto a quarter inch instrumentation valve. We've got the locking head, we have the key, we have the drive stem adapter, we've got a 2mm Allen key and a 2.5mm Allen key. So the whole process begins with taking the existing drive handle off, loosen the screw, that lifts off and is discarded. The drive adapter is designed to fit straight on to the drive stem and for this purpose we've got a 5mm thread grub screw here in the side. You can also see the 4mm, the M4 threaded grub screw uh, on the underside here. It's important to orientate this on the valve so that the hexagon in the Allen key screw hole uh, is pointing towards the body of the valve, downwards in other words. So we're going to put that adapter onto the stem. Notice also before I do that the stem has got a flat on here and the the head of the of the Allen key screw is going to bite down on that flat. So we push the adapter down and now using the 2.5 millimeter Allen key we're going to tighten up the screw. So I shall just finish tightening that off there. So now the locking head can fit onto the valve. Notice you've got an internal thread here designed to mate with the external thread on the adapter. So that starts to screw in place like so. Once it's fully tightened down, you then take the smaller Allen key, the two point sorry, the two millimeter Allen key and tighten up that grub screw like so. That's fully tightened up there. Now that, that screw is, is biting into the underside of the internals of the lock. So that's fitted now. Now with the key removed that locking head just rotates. It's not applying any drive to the valve. But when we insert the key that engages the drive and now we can operate this valve as normal. You can see it's slightly tighter to turn now. Notice also that the key can be removed at any point. By doing so it disengages the drive and the head just spins. With the key inserted I'm now able to fully close that valve down. Take the key out is now effectively locked the device. So that just freely spins now without actually opening it. To open the valve up, we pop the key inside again, that engages the drive and the valve opens as normal. And that's the needle valve locking device.